be sure to turn the power off before performing any maintenance. Before performing this service, it is necessary to shut off the water. Find the saddle valve, turn it clockwise until it stops. All right, we've already turned off the water and disconnect the electrical. Now we're going to replace the valve. So we have here a half inch and a 9 16 inch wrench. We're going to use them to disconnect the lines. All right, we're just going to loosen that up and all right, now We'll spin these lines off. There we go, there's the water line. And the feed tube. Okay, now let's disconnect the valve body. And we're gonna loosen these two nuts up. It's only necessary to take one of them off, but you need to loosen the other one. All right. All right, so there we go. Here's the old valve. We're gonna take this out. All right, here's our new valve. The only important thing on this is there's an arrow and it's pointing the direction of the water flow. This is the inlet side and this is the outlet side. So you want the inlet side attached to the cold water line and the outlet side attached to the feed tube. So we're gonna mount this thing first. We're gonna leave it loose so that we can move it back and forth until our alignment's done. All right, so we can move this thing back and forth and let's connect the water lines. All right, here's the feed tube. Put it on hand tight. And the incoming water line. All right, now let's tighten those up. And now let's just tighten up the valve itself. There we go. All right, we're all done. The only thing left is to turn the water back on and reconnect our electrical. I'm your host, Jay. Thank you for watching. For additional help or questions, please feel free to contact us.